by default a browser doesn't send authentication cookies with cross origin requests it sends cookies only if the javascript code sets a property called credentials to to true or include depending on the javascript function that you are using but that's not the whole story the server side code must also set an allow credentials cross origin policy so that it can respond with a header called access control allow credentials if the browser doesn't receive this header it logs a cross origin failure even if the origin is white listed on the server thus it is a matter of writing the javascript code correctly and configuring the cross origin policy that signals the browser that cross origin cookies are allowed this policy will not work if wildcards are used in the with origins function or allow any origin function has been used let's have a look at the client side javascript code there are many approaches to making a cross origin request to a server one is to use jquery another is to use plain javascript with the xml http request object and more recently the use of fetch api is also getting popular we shall explain how to use the latter two for jquery you will have to refer the documentation on the jquery website if you use xml http request then set with credentials to 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 true as shown in this code and if you are using fetch api then you will have to set the credentials property to include let's now have a look at the server side configuration we have created the project and attached it as a download so you can obtain this project from the downloads also open the solution explorer and locate the program.cs file double click and open it let's examine the code line by line the first two lines are as usual next we have configured our default cross origin policy the with origins method adds one or more third party white listed origins and the function allow credentials it sets the policy to allow credentials this is the main function that must be called if you want cookie communication to succeed we shall now verify the headers with curl run the project and allow the home page to open take note of the url that you are seeing in the browser next open a command prompt and type this curl command hit enter to receive the response the response confirms the presence of access control allow credentials header which means that this server accepts cross site cookies sent from a javascript code and the browser will therefore present the payload to the user who made this cross site request this feature must be used with care so you will have to take a lot of care before you enable this feature because it is a matter of sending cookies to a third party website thank you